Good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. This is a Pumulo here. Um, I changed my um, name on Facebook from Kopala Queen to um, Queen Pumi because I was told there's uh, other people using um, Kopala Queen and uh, the, the other person has a lot of following, so it might cause confusion. So I changed uh, my name on my uh, page to Queen Pumi. Uh, thank you for joining in on uh, Motomola TV. Uh, I, uh, I like to thank uh, Honorable Motomola for allowing me to use this platform as we share some um, important uh, information and just review what is going on, the trending issues that are happening politically in, uh, in Zambia. So I'm just waiting for a few more minutes so that we can have a few um, more people. And then I have, a, I just wanted to talk about uh, the proposal of uh, the government wanting to ban social media in Zambia. So I just have my views about that. And uh, we can just uh, talk a little bit about it. Uh, you can share your comments below. Uh, tell me where you are watching from. I'm happy to see you and uh, I'll be live in a bit. Just enjoy the music for now. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in. Sheke, that's my hometown. <laughs> I'm from Sesheke. Uh, that's uh, that's my hometown. My father is from Sesheke. <laughs> I don't own the the rights to the song playing. Uh, it's your maps and uh, and your maps. I think it's a collaboration, but I just like the music because we just had Valentine's Day yesterday, so I'm playing that song today. I'll start in a bit, guys. I just want to print uh, some. I want to print something. Hi, Florence. 
Greetings from Turkey. <laughs> Glad to see you guys. It's the power of the internet, you know, we connect from people all over the world. It's really exciting. Hi, Abraham. Uh, from Mundola, that's my town. <laughs> I lived and worked in Mundola. Hi, Conrad from Turkey. We are studying in a bit here. Come uh, join in. Let's, uh, you know, share the video so we can have more people to watch. You know, uh, the president uh, of Zambia, Honorable Lungu, had an address the other day and he talked about uh, the possibility of, you know, banning uh, social media from Zambia. Just hold on. Let me just um, let me just shut down this music. Hi guys! So welcome. Thanks for joining in. I'm so excited to see you all. Um, hi Gloria from UK. Yes. So yeah. So um, they want to shut uh, to shut down social media in Zambia. If you don't know me, my name is Pumulo or Queen Pumi. I am here on um, uh, Motomola, Honorable Motomola's um, TV channel. He has accorded me this opportunity to come live and uh, just share my opinions and views because he has a lie. He has a huge following. He has almost uh, seventy th over seventy thousand followers. So thank you guys for following Honorable uh, Motomola. And also please sus subscribe to his YouTube channel so that you can help his uh, works that he's doing in uh, Zambia to promote um, to promote uh, fair elections and just keeping everyone informed about um, the current situation. So briefly, I just want to say that um, heading towards the 2021 20, August 12th general election, I think we have to be courageous. That's the one word that I want to say is Zambians. This, this election is a, is, is a big election in our lives. It's going to be big in all Zambians' lives because if we don't vote wisely, the problems that we are facing are going to continue. So we want to usher in a new government in uh, come August 12 to help solve some of our problems. So we have a lot of problems. I'm not going to go into the details. We all know what this government has, uh, has been doing. They have been abusing their power. And a lot of things are happening, like every day it's a scandal. The, the latest scandal is the scandal of the expired drugs. And for me, when the president had uh, that address, uh, the state address, I expected him to, uh, to say something about uh, the, the scandal of expired drugs, which is currently rocking Zambia, but he didn't say anything. So... What I just want to say is if the government is hoping to ban social media in Zambia, they are not solving a pro they are not solving a problem. So and the reason they want to ban social media in Zambia is because they are too too much like everyone is having a political discussion on social media and they are uncomfortable about it. So even all of us here that's why we are here because we are having political discussions and politics affects everyone's life. And myself, I wasn't even into politics until, um, you know, the pandemic started and all the things that are happening in Zambia. I decided to create my Facebook page and just start giving my uh, views and my opinions on what's happening. So I think if the government decides to ban social media in Zambia, they are not fixing the problem. So I think they are looking at, uh, the, it's like, you know, like when you are sick, right? You have an illness. If you go to a doctor, 
the doctor should find the root cause of your illness. So similar, the government should find the root cause. Why are people on social media and talking politics about the government? That's what the most important thing the government should do now is to analyze why we are all here on social media and talking about the government, you know? Is a why. Instead of saying we are going to ban social media in Zambia, the government should be analyzing why we are all here, you know? Everyone is on social media talking about the government. Why? And the reason why is because our government is not listening to us. We are all frustrated. That's why we are coming here on social media to try and see if we can figure out what our, how our government can help us or how we can move forward. Now, that being said, any government is put in office, is elected. They are elected officials. So this is like civics, you know. It's a basic civics, basic civics. Government is elected by citizens to run affairs for the country, right? Now, since this PEF has come, has been in office, these things that are happening where we citizens, we are asking questions and government is ignoring us. So, these political discussions happening on social media is because the government is ignoring us as citizens. We gave them a job to run the country, but a lot of things like, for example, the honeybee scandal. People are talking, nobody's, talk, nobody's uh, giving us an answer from the government. In December, two people were killed. We complained, we went on social media, the government is Z, is quiet. So now, we are in a de democracy. We are in a democracy. The government should hear the people. If we people cry, we have a complaint, government should address us. In other civilized countries we've seen, in other democracy, when people complain, the government has a press conference. Actually, they don't even need to wait to have a press conference for people to complain to have a press conference. It's like every day on a daily basis, citizens are kept updated on what's happening if there's a, a, a question citizens are complaining then they come in and then they give information but there is there is a lack of information flowing from the government to the people so that's why we are all on social media because our government is, is ignoring us and we are having all these problems like to now the quarter is almost uh, you know 21, 21 uh, quarters to one US dollar, you know? So, you know, it's, it's, it's a problem. It's a problem. We want a peaceful election, you know? We want a peaceful election. I believe in a Zambia police. Myself, I had a run-in with Zambia police, you know? And this person who reported me to Zambia police, this is just an example of uh, my experience with Zambia police. I had a run-in with Zambia police, and the person who reported me to Zambia police was a senior government official. So they tried to abuse their power at Indola police station many years ago, you know. And what happened was the police issued a call out for me to uh, go to the police station and unfortunately, when the police officers came to my house, I was not there. So in the call out, they said any female at that address must be Pumulos Tubeko, bring her to the police station. My maid was there, so they picked my maid. And my maid was detained for five hours. And when I got home, I was told my maid was picked up. So I went to the police station and my maid was there. So when I got there, they released my, my maid and they took me in. And, you know, we had a discussion with the police officers there, the commander-in-chief at that time at the police, Ndola police station. They are very professional. So I just want to say that all you Zambians, our Zambian police force is a very professional organization. Myself, I was reported to someone who was a government official and they wanted the, to abuse their power by, you know, sending the police on me but the police uh, officers there at Ndola central police officers 
they defended uh, they advised me and they were very professional and they didn't allow that person to get their way like to you know get me arrested for no reason so my point is as zambians as we head toward the general election we should be very confident that the police officers will be impartial if you go on the zambia police website uh you know they are there to help the people you know to help us maintain law and order in a professional way with integrity with accountability and confident and confidentiality so let's just trust in the police force that they are going to help us see us through this election peacefully and uh you know with law and order but i just think like the pf government they are not uh they are not helping they are not working hand in hand with the police to ensure law and order because we have seen a lot of cadarism and the police i think they have been instructed by pf not to take any action against any pf cadres so i think that's a big problem why we are all discussing here on social media because our government is not listening to us you know if our government was listening to us there would be no problem because if someone if someone just uh, writes one article on social media then uh, the next day we can have uh you know a, st a press statement from the from the state house to clear everything but that is not happening all the scandals that have happened fire trucks mukula trees have we heard anything it's quiet you know so if they shut down so social media that will be a wrong move because zambians i think we are frustrated in these government officials we elected them to take care of the country not themselves so they should look at this the reason why people are on social media instead of uh, trying to shut it down it's like even if you are married you are in a marriage with your wife or your husband and you are not communicating there is there is going to be big problems so i the government must open uh, the door to communicate with the citizens otherwise if they shut the door for communication then the out the only outlet we have is for is to go on social media and then our social media will be sharing information and then from there we decide if we want to keep pf in government or not i think pf should not think that uh, you know they made zambia zambia ya wonse is not for pf zambia ya wonse so whoever comes into uh, power should always remember that uh they are there to help the people not themselves and they should listen to the people so that's just what i wanted to say on um, on shutting down the social media uh pf government should look into the reason why why people are on social media discussing politics and i think like i said earlier the only reason they are there is because the pf government is not listening you know if you go to a doctor you have a problem they must find out what's causing that that illness so pf should find out what is causing people to go on social media and then what is causing that is because people uh, pf is not listening to its citizens there is no accountability you know any there is you know they are trying to take away our democracy and we are refusing that and yes and it is true uh, in uganda even if you, sh you 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 shut down social media we will find a way the only thing is like right now there is a pandemic going on you know there is a pandemic so social media is allowing us to connect because we can't go to rallies we can't campaign but the good thing about social media is like people around the world are, are, are able to connect and discuss these issues so if you guys have any questions or you want anything else to talk about i'm still here we can still talk about uh, and see how we can you know put our heads together as we prepare to go to vote otherwise um you know zambia is a very peaceful country we've been uh, very peaceful you know and uh we just look forward to having a, a peaceful election 
and having you know intelligent and civilized discussions and see how we can take zambia forward like i say zambia is a very rich country we have a lot of mineral resources the only problem is that uh, is management so if we are able to usher in a, a listening government you know it's like if you have kids if a child cries you find out what the child uh, why the child is crying and try to you know maybe they have a headache you give them something you know but we are not having that uh conversation with our government and it's creating a lot of problems you know it's a lot of problems for us and even you know there's a lot of you know see you are seeing ministers handing out i don't know if it's 40 quachas you know it's like and then that the whole thing of handing out these bags of milli meals or hundred quachas to voters i think we have to educate the vulnerable people especially in the rural areas because they see these ministers who go there once every election time and hand out money and that most of them are accepting that those bribes and then turning around and and voting for those corrupt officials so i think we should campaign in those areas to say you know what even if you're in a village life can be better in a village you know we can show them the other side of why even if somebody bribes them they should turn and, and vote for change to improve their lives like if we go to campaign we should show them for example in rwanda look at what's happening in rwanda rwanda is now on track to be a first world you know yeah rwanda is on track to be a, a, a first world even our neighbors in Botswana. look at what's happening in Botswana. look at what's happening in namibia so that's just what i'm here to say is like we need to find a way to communicate to the government and uh, if they take away social media it won't solve it it's not going to solve anything they won't shut us up it won't take away the problems social media is just a symptom of the main problem all these political political discussions we're having is just a, a you know a sign of the serious problems that we have in zambia and we have to go deep down and find out the root cause and the root cause is that pf have failed they are running the, the country on on selfish reasons you know they are running a country to benefit a few of them we want a country where all zambians benefit we want a country where all wealth is shared we want a country where we have accountable credible leaders we want a, a country where leaders are, are servants you know they are there to 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 serve the people you know we want a country where our leaders are listening we don't want uh, to be shut up like if we say anything oh we are going to take away social media if someone is protesting they get arrested all those things you know there's so much going wrong and uh you know people we are talking on social media and uh the reason why we are talking is we are discussing if we actually need to continue with this government but i think PF's journey is over, you know, in terms of govern governing this country, I think the journey of PF is over, they are going to lose. And why I say they will lose is, let's do simple math, you know, simple mathematics. Let's look at uh, Zambia, the, what is an, uh, approximately how many voters do we have in Zambia? About maybe six to seven million, right? So we have six to seven million eligible voters who will vote. So just uh, follow me here. If we do the simple math, we can, we can actually know that PF will lose. Because if we do the simple math, there are about six, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, like six to seven million voters. And out of those six to seven million voters, how many people have jobs? You know? How many people are, are, are even just even just like able to survive, have money, have income? How many graduates are out there looking for a job? How many businesses are there surviving, you know? So if you look at the math, there is more people suffering than actually people who are benefiting from the PF policies. 
So, those few people who are benefiting from PF policies, can their votes are prob probably going to be, they are not even half. They are not half of the voters. So if we say like 2 million people or 3 million people are actually benefiting from PF, those are the people who are going to vote for PF. So can they win the election if the election is free and fair? No. If you just look at the numbers, the what is happening, the suffering, all these things, the bad things are happening. It's like a nightmare. You know? And all that now they want to do voter suppression and all kinds of evil things to, to know to try and stay in power. But all I can encourage as Zambians is just we pray, let's do our part in the continue talking in your communities, sharing information, educating people why we need to change PF because I think we'll have a better life for everyone. You know, you PF is a you know, life, a good life, every Zambian is entitled to a good life. It's not that you have to be a PF cadre to have a good life. Anyway, that's all I had to say, guys. Unless you have any questions, I'll talk to you soon. Yes, I know. They want people to watch ZNBC alone and control what ZNBC is sharing because you know like the UPND convention ZNBC didn't even air it so how, how is that possible you know like that's a major opposition party the biggest opposition party they did not air their convention so where is the free and fairness so that's what we are talking about Yes, we are all ready to vote and let's vote wisely. You know, even if they, like they gave empowerment to the artists, how many were there? You know, just a few artists, like how many, 30 people or 40 people, I don't know how many artists they gave that empowerment fund. So can those people, if they gave the, 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 the artists they gave, can they go vote? Can, are, they, are they votes enough to keep up PF in power? No. If they want to stay in power, they should all give us empowerment funds. They should give every Zambian 30,000, I don't know, what, whatever amount they gave. Hmm? If they want to stay in power, let them give us empowerment. You know, let them reduce the value of the kwacha. Let them, uh, you know, have proper medicines and medical facilities, proper education, you know. Let them look at the, provide all these things we are asking for. If they are doing their job, then we won't even have this problem. But you know, I think it's not even going to work because this is 2021. We have seen social media, the power of social media and sharing information. And the, all the past elections, you know, they were able to do things, you know, like unfair competition. The opposition cannot even broadcast their own, their, 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 what, their meetings or their campaigns. So it was unfair. That's why, you know, the ruling party always has an advantage. But now because of social media, it's a, it's a fair. The, the platform is fair. Because even if they don't allow opposition in ZNBC, the opposition have their own uh, medias, like I'm on Matomola TV now. So we are sharing information. So I think they are, it, they are going, they are, it's a, they are fighting a losing battle. You know, PF is fighting a losing battle. And um, I just wish for me, PF or our president, our Honorable Lungu, can listen to the people. I think it's very important that... Uh, when he addresses the nation, he addresses the questions that people are asking. You know, everything we ask, it falls on deaf ears. You know, everything that we are asking from PF, simple things like, you know, the honeybee scandal. We don't even have a minister of health to come and uh, make a statement on that. You know, it said, it's like we are, we are being led by people who are heartless. They don't really care about us. And we, it's, it's high time we found we elect a government that is caring for people. Otherwise, um, that's it I, I had to say, guys. I hope to see you soon. Uh, it's a lot of issues that are happening. 
every day so i'll try to keep up and uh, you know whatever is trending i'll try to come on live and share my opinion and we can discuss and thank you for all the comments i always read all your comments so i i read all your comments and then uh, i try to respond to some of them but uh, thank you they are very encouraging and i uh, hope to see you soon guys stay safe and god bless you all good night thank you